Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a very special video because today I'm going to be doing a collaboration as you've seen from the title with Marianne from the channel Marianne Le Liqueur. Um, I did a collaboration with her before last year I believe, we did a fashion video, I'm linking on the screen now where we talked about our favourite white pieces and it was so lovely to interact with all of her subscribers and her viewers. Um, and interact with Marianne herself, it was just such an honour, so I really love working with her. And we have decided to team up again today, but we're going to be doing something that's more on my side of the playground, and we're going to be doing something foodie related. Now you guys know I love talking about food, I love cooking, I love eating, and I love sharing my ideas and my recipes. So today we thought it'd be fun to talk about the lighter versions of food, the appetizers, the snacking, and I feel like at the moment, a lot of us want lighter options when it comes to our dining. It's hot outside, we want nice, grab, on the go, snacky kind of things that we can graze on throughout the day that are gonna be really nourishing and healthy for us, but also less time consuming, comforting and filling, and of course, again, light options as well. So these things that I'm gonna share with you today, you could use them as appetizers, snacks, or simply just lighter versions when it comes to your full on meals. So I think Marianne is sharing three, I'm going to share four because I couldn't narrow it down and I think all of these are key picks in my kitchen. So without further ado, I'm going to get started and I also wanted to say if you come from Marianne's channel, please comment down below and say hello, introduce yourself and I hope you can subscribe and join our ever growing family. Make sure that after this video you go and say hi to Marianne, go and click on her video, give it a watch, say hi from me and also make sure you subscribe to her channel because it is awesome, I love it and you guys know how selective I am when it comes to my time and what I watch and I love Marianne so make sure you go and say hi. So I'm just going to get started and the first one, and this can be used again as a side dish, a starter, an appetizer, a light snack on the go, or of course in my case a replacement, your lunch, your evening meal and that is a warm chicken salad. Now you don't have to use chicken, you can just use this veggie, but I feel like warm salads are definitely overlooked. What I do is I roast the chicken, I love roasting chicken guys, I think there's nothing better than coming home and the scent of a roasting chicken hits you, there's nothing better in the world and I love experimenting with marinades, I love basting them, I just, I love everything about it and using and making up my own stock, it's fantastic. But in this recipe what I do is I roast my chicken, I use butter, garlic and lemon because I want it quite simple and I literally let it roast for a couple of hours so it's all golden, crispy and gorgeous. Then I will sit it out to rest and then shred it and add it with things that I cook in the chicken tin and I will roast peppers in there, mushroom, onion, any vegetables basically that I want to put in. You can put aubergine in there like I have, courgette, and then I mix it all together and sprinkle my roasted chicken with the skin on top. It's delicious, it's such a lovely option, really filling, a great way to eat what's in your fridge, a great way to get a load of veggies in you, and how refreshing is it to have a warm salad? We're so used to just munching on leaves, munching on lettuce, cucumber, tomato, but this is a really lovely take, and actually quite filling as well. I absolutely love a warm chicken salad, so that has to be my number one. And again, you can use this as a side dish, you could use this as an appetizer, snack, or in my case, I use it for my main meals and I love it. And you can put croutons on there, perhaps some pancetta, make it all crispy and lovely. Oh my gosh, the possibilities are endless, but that is my number one. Number two is roasted vegetables as chips. So I really love eating potato chips or crisps, we call them in the UK if you're not from around here. Um, but they're not the most friendly for you in regards to calories and things like that. And they're not as easy, they're very easy to snack on, like you can keep going forever, but they're not the best for you. So what I like to do as an alternative, as a lighter option, is to finely slice um, aubergine, courgette, carrot, onion, like finely, finely slice it. Roast it in the oven with some paprika, salt and pepper, thyme, rosemary, other kind of complementary spices and flavours. And again, I just have it with a made up dip of like hollandaise, mayonnaise, um, yogurt, tzatziki, anything that I fancy. And I basically just dip away and have a gorgeous side dish, lunch, again, appetizer. It's so filling. It feels really indulgent because it feels like you're sat eating chips, whereas actually you're sat eating vegetables. And it's super healthy, super flavorful. And again, we don't want to feel too bloated, too uncomfortable, too sluggish. And this is a fantastic way to switch things up and get a little bit more creative with our veg. So that is number two. 
I'm going to move on now to number three. This is something that I use as a starter in the winter, so I want, when I want something a bit more filling and I want to have a starter, but also I use it again for a light lunch or a light evening dinner with some nice crusty homemade bread, and that is my butternut squash soup. I I love butternut squashes, like honestly you'll find them a lot about my house just rolling around my kitchen and again it's something that I roast up as the chips idea, I love butternut squash roasted, I think it's incredible, so flavourful and so overlooked as well in many many kitchens but I love a butternut squash soup and again the principle is very similar, get some lovely herbs and spices, get some lovely veg in a big roasting enamel tin, get them in the oven roasting away for a good 40 minutes, let them caramelise, release a lot of flavour then put them in the blitzer or the processor with some stock and you have a gorgeous flavorful soup. One of my favorite things to eat in the whole world, again super good for you, a great way to get a lot of veggies into the family especially if your children aren't a big fan of them. Having soup is a great way to get loads of hidden veggies into their system so that is one of my favourites. I have it with homemade bread that I make and dip away and when I'm feeling a bit extra I will put some parmesan on top and it's delicious, so that is number three. And my final one, and it was so hard to narrow things down, like I could have gone on forever, and maybe I'll do a part two, so give this a like and a comment down below if you would like to see more videos like this from me in the future. But that is cold meats, with bread, with olive, with feta, I really love cold meat on a tray with, again, just some bread, some dips, and just a, like breadsticks, croutons, that kind of thing, a bit of salad. I just think it's a really lovely way to go and sit in the garden, have a tray of lovely jewels in front of me, and just munch away at my leisure. I just think there's something so European about it. Like, you've been on holiday, you're going abroad, you're going somewhere, and you, sat, you sit and you order things like that, like cheese boards, meat boards, why not bring that home? Why not bring that to your garden? It's a lovely light option, um, it's easy to eat, it's, it's very easy to prepare because a lot of the meats have been done for you and cured for you, so you literally just present them on a lovely tray, have it perhaps with a crumpet like we have here in the UK, homemade bread, you could even serve it with the roasted veg that I mentioned before, the possibilities are endless, but I think nicely cooked meats and cheeses with olives, feta, um, baby peppers, things like that, stuffed gherkins, that kind of thing, just really lovely appetizers is a great way to go. And also if you're having little family picnics in the garden, because we're not really doing much else these days, then options like that are just really fun and really appropriate for this time of year. So that is definitely my number four. And that is it! Again, I could have gone on forever. I have so many ideas that I've had to leave behind. So if you would like to see a part two to this, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and also let me know what you think ideal snacks are, what you think ideal appetizers are, what are your habits when it comes to snacking, because I know here in the UK we probably snack and have appetizers, side dishes, and eat very differently to those in France, and it probably doesn't seem like that far away, but I think culturally there are a few differences, and it would be really interesting to know, so comment down below and let me know what you think, let me know what things are like on your side of the pond as well, give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to go and check out Marianne's video, of course, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!